Hello my friends, welcome to reddit rabbit. Before we start, catch the rabbit at the bottom right corner, smash that subscribe button and leave a comment. r slash ask reddit, what only exists, because humans are dumb? This is for external use only, puts Clorox container down. Warnings on hammers saying this object can cause damage if you strike yourself. Step 1. Hit someone else with hammer. Step 2. Act outrage discovering it causes harm without being warned against. Step 3. Sue company to your heart's content. Step 4. Profit. Bonus points if you hit someone you don't like. I know a lot of people say warning labels, but let's be honest. Warning labels have probably never stopped stupid people from doing stupid things. They're just there to protect corporations from getting lawsuits. But the most ridiculous warnings only exist, because some idiot actually did that stupid thing. They're there to protect the company sure, but they wouldn't be necessary if the dumb thing hadn't already happened in an earlier iteration. Flammable tags on underwear. Some of us need that warning label. Licks finger and touches ssssssssss. My ex was a flaming asshole, so I'm sure he needed that reminder. Let's not get on a tangent about the topic of TV ads for prescription medication, but recently, last couple years, they started adding a sentence in the commercials. Do not take Trevexica if you are allergic to Trevexica. What happened to make that a thing that they need to mention now? Why the hell would anyone knowingly continue to put a drug in their body if they knew or realized they were allergic to it? Answer. People are stupid. I get that it's to protect them legally, but it's mind blowing to me that it needs to be said even to do that. The part that gets me is that the statement provides no new information. For example, I would say don't eat Snickers if you are allergic to peanuts. I wouldn't say don't eat Snickers if you are allergic to Snickers. Exactly. My mum is allergic to sulfur based medicines, so it would make much more sense to point things like that out. Like why it's even a thing. In Europe there's a line like read the leaflet or consult doctor before taking it required in every medicine ad. The companies that get you out of timeshares. Also, timeshares. Also MLMs. My bill has been doing MLM scams for 15 years now, um, he has a dual masters, um, crazy. As in he has been successfully scamming people with MLMs or he has been getting scammed by MLMs? Well both I think, um, he pays whoever is above him for merchandise. He pays loads of cash to go to conferences to learn how to better sell and he pays for one on one consulting with higher up folks in his scheme. He also tried to recruit family and friends literally all the time. Some really strange laws. Like handling fish suspiciously can end you up in jail in the UK. Wearing this costume does not enable you to fly. Tag on a Superman Halloween costume. Jerry Seinfeld had this joke. I liked his follow up. I want to meet a person dumb enough to think that this might make him fly. Yet smart enough to think to check the instructions. Pretty sure they have a warning label so that stupid people can't sue them for not putting a label. Cuss stupid people blame others for their stupidity. Do the Clark Kent costume glasses have a tag with? Wearing these glasses will not protect your identity. The Darwin Awards. My favorite is the gasoline truck driver. When they get back to the yard, they would fill the tanks with water to evacuate the leftover fumes. It was late at night and he wanted to see how full his tanks were, but he didn't have a flashlight to see into the tank. But he did have a cigarette lighter. You can see where this goes. A friend of mine did this when we were about 13 he lit a match over the opening of his motorcycle fuel tank. He once had straight hair. My favorite is the four drunk friends trying to smoke a raccoon out of a large pipe. They start a small four and can't get the smoke to go into the pipe due to it lying horizontal. They get the idea to lift and tilt the pipe, but set the fuel can next to it. The can falls over and detonates, flinging the two at the far end of the pipe, killing the two at the fireplace end of the pipe, and firing a flaming raccoon about 200 yards into the distance. Unconfirmed, but enjoyable. Several warning markings like don't put your cat inside your microwave. What the hell kind of cat did you buy that came with a warning label? 
Right? Mine only says hand wash only, not dishwasher safe. I think an old woman once sued a microwave company, because it didn't say that she couldn't put her dog in there. Well, she had done it and then the dog had died. So that's why such things are there. My grandpa actually went on a call for the same exact thing. She tried to dry off her dog after a bath. Must have happened a lot when microwaves were first introduced. I think in his books, James Ariel describes farmers putting orphaned abandoned newborn lambs in the traditional style oven to keep them warm, very low heat obviously, and save them from hypothermia. So when microwaves first came out I can totally see people just thinking it was just a really fast oven, without understanding how it works. Molecular agitation versus conventional heat. About half of what a hospital does. Of course the side that deals with sickness isn't there, because we're dumb. But the part that deals with glass bottles being stuck inside anuses is there, because we're dumb. I'd argue half of what the emergency room at a hospital does, but not half of what the entire hospital does. A hospital does a lot of things outside of the ER. Most warning labels may cause anal leakage. Is this a box of old age you are selling? The belief of a flat earth. This is by far my favorite conspiracy just to laugh at just cause like, um, why? Who would lie about that? What is that a gain from people thinking the earth is actually a globe? A sense of meaning in life. If they feel like they possess secret knowledge others do not have, it may give them a feeling of purpose. It likely also works as a form of neo-tribalism, where they can find a sense of belonging in a community of flat earthers. The Emoji Movie. Having watched it, I firmly believe it was the product of Columbia Pictures going through Pixar's trash and finding an initial concept for Inside Out. Let's see. Don't stop on the tracks. Contents are hot. Straw paper can go in your eye. The list goes on and on. Well I will say this. The biggest talking point on the coffee is hot label is, because a woman spilled coffee on herself that wasn't just hot, but closing to boiling. Somewhere between 180, 190 Fahrenheit with the boiling point of water being 212 Fahrenheit, and she suffered third degree burns and was hospitalized for 6 days due to McDonald's negligence. She sued them which ended up on a settlement. After this McDonald's put the warnings on their coffee so they couldn't be sued again. And to add insult to injury put a smear campaign against this woman to completely downplay this incident. I would take a look at Liebeck v. McDonald's restaurants on Wikipedia. To drive home your point, the woman was 79 years old and required multiple skin grafts, because the almost boiling hot coffee soaked into her clothing and continued to burn her. She was getting treatments for 2 years. Imagine that. Imagine your grandma in the front seat screaming because she soaked in boiling liquid. The smear campaign against her infuriates me to all hell, and I always try to educate people whenever they make a joke about this incident. McDonald's was absolutely negligent and their smearing of the woman is sickening. I'll add one thing to this. I believe they were keeping the coffee hotter than was legal to keep people from refilling their cups, because it was free refills. This makes it even more malicious to me. Lure people in with free refills and then put them at risk of getting burned, because money. Zero tolerance policies. Andy Vaxx. If only all those children in iron lungs back in the 40s knew about lavender oil, or water homeopathic remedies. Measles. In 2000, measles was nearly eradicated, but then anti vaxxers brought it back to popularity. There was this random anti-vaxxer who literally said, instead of vaccines we should take a bit of the virus and inject it. They've devolved so far they are starting to loop around again. Um. When you went to vax so hard you accidentally invent vaccines. Curb your enthusiasm theme starts playing. You ever anti-vax so hard you invent vaccines? The warning on my dad's old motorcycle saying this is a motorcycle and only to be used as such. I used mine as a ram once and it was pretty ineffective. It only left a small bump on the guy's cars, but it totaled me and my bike. This reminded me of the time my mum told me to break an old fence down when I was little. But I also wanted to ride my bike. So the obvious answer was to ride the bike into the fence at full speed. 
broke the front wheel and handlebars and smashed my nutsack into the handlebar stem. Fence held its ground. Ground held its fence. Warning signs next to large waterfalls, cliffs, any other potentially lethal terrain. Sometimes I can understand that one of our old vacation spots there was a cliff that you couldn't see until it was too late popular hiking trail.